gotten permission from a few of my friends to show you some examples. So the first browser I'm using is Chrome, and then I'm also going to show you in Safari. But for Chrome, all you need to do is go to the website of the person or you know company or whatever that you're wanting to find out the platform of, and then you're going to anywhere on the page, right click and say inspect. This is going to create this pop-up code situation and a lot of you are not going to know what any of this means and don't worry, you do not have to. All you have to do is toggle over to sources right here in this top menu of the developer tab. Once you're in sources, it's going to pull up all of these drop down arrows and you will see right away that you'll see WP content, WP here, and oftentimes toward the bottom it should also oftentimes we'll have a folder similar. But just seeing this right here, WP, that means WordPress. I know that Cassie Yost is using WordPress on her site. So if you're ever on a site that you absolutely love, you can see exactly where they're hosting or how they're hosting it. Since WordPress is one of those ones that can be iffy for a lot of people, you can also take note of other websites like, for instance, Paper Playgrounds is Brooke Glaser's site. It's friendly, it's nice, it's well laid out, and I'm going to right click on an empty space here, say inspect. Same thing, I'm going to go over to sources. So that's the one thing that a lot of people forget to do is actually go over and navigate to sources. And they'll be looking through elements, they'll try to figure it out, not sure what's going on. So go to sources. From sources you can now see that you have Squarespace popping up all over the place on the left hand side. Brooke is using Squarespace for her site. So now you know exactly where she builds this. Last example is my own website. You will pull this up here. You see everything that's going on. I'm going to right click somewhere, go down to inspect. And from there, go to sources. From here, I can see Kajabi, Kajabi. So I know that the pigeonletters.com also Peggy Dean, which is me, I am using Kajabi. And there are many reasons why people use different things. And so it's really important that you also go in and read every, you know, read up on what's going to work best for your workflow, etc. But this is going to give you a very easy way to just check and see what somebody is using. So now I'm going to show you the same thing in Safari. So I have Safari open here. I'm going to show you the exact same websites in the exact same order. Cassios.com. I'm going to right click inspect element. You'll see that the developer tab shows up on the bottom. All I need to do here's sources right here. And then I can see exactly what's going on. It doesn't have the obvious scripts here on the left. You can also just look down a little bit. So I see she's using the Yoast plugin, yoast.com slash WordPress. So there's an easy tell that she is using WordPress. So it's usually right in the beginning somewhere. I'm going to do the same thing with Paper Playgrounds. I don't have to exit. I'm pointing at my computer like you can see it. But I don't have to exit out of this developer tab either. I can just keep it open if I know the site I want to go to and it will automatically pull that up for me. So sources that I just had to load and I can see right here, Squarespace. So I know she's using Squarespace. And then lastly, my website. I'm just showing you different ones so that you can see how they might show up depending on the code that's in the website itself, just because it will show up differently depending on what they have going on on their front page and whatnot. But I can see, let's see if I go, okay, so I scrolled down just a tad, Kajabi storefronts, so I know that I am using Kajabi. So if this was helpful, stay tuned because my next video is going to be going over how to find out fonts that are used on websites.